Hello and good afternoon. How are we today? We are going to cook some bass of fish. So this is the packaging that it comes in. You can see the, the notes here and also the grams. Okay, so I have it thawed. Uh, I like to keep it thawed and not frozen. It's easier to cook in the um, uh, tea fowl. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, let me see here. I'm going to get some scissors and I'm going to cut this. Okay, there is some fluid in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, some people like to wash the fish too. Uh, I don't know about that, but I am going to, I'm going to put some oil in that uh, container right here, just a little bit of oil. I can actually use a, another bowl, which I might do. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of oil in this bowl here. Can you see the oil in the bowl? Yeah, you can. So, I'm just adding a bit of oil here. I'm just going to, that will help with, ah, whoops. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so, I am getting the first layer of fish. I should have used it in the other container. That's okay. So I think I might. I'm going to put this oil in here. Okay, so there you go. Can you see the, the fish? There's the fish. And I'm going to I'm going to dunk it in the oil. So both fishes are going to be in there. Okay. I'm going to do the other one now. I did not wash the fish. No, I didn't. So I'm just going to swish it around. There we go. Swish, swish, swish. Okay, so now that the fish has a bit of oil on it. Okay, good. I'm just going to dump it out. And I'm going to always, yes, this is why we have the paper towels here. It's great for cleaning off your hands. Yes. Okay. So here is our, our fish in here. There we go. All right. So now we're going to sprinkle. I'm just going to this up. I'm going to sprinkle, there we go, some breaded, some breaded things. There we go. I'll just push that around. And then I'm going to add some more things. Yeah, right back. Okay, so what we're going to do, all right, so we're going to add some, what's this? Garlic powder. Can you see that? Garlic powder. Perfect. Okay, so I'll put that there. Um, we're going to add some, let me see, oops, there we go. This is um, oregano. There we go. And 
and oops, too much. This is onion powder. Perfect. So we'll just leave these there. And um, I'm going to use, oops, too much. I'm going to use uh, a chicken bouillon. There you go. I'm going to put that on there. It's kind of against it, but I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, I'm going to shake up. I'm going to shake up the fish so it's nicely breaded. Okay. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take Okay, so there we go. Can you see that? There we go. There we go. The fish is in there. So open up our hair fryer. There we go. This is what it looks like. There we go. That's our air fryer. Okay. okay. So I only have two pieces of fish here. So what we're going to do is put this here. Alrighty. And it's really, really a good idea to have it thawed. It's so much easier. So we'll just put a little bit more on top. Okay. So put this in the sink. Wash that out. Okay. Now, we are going to cook. See, this is what it's like inside the air fryer okay and um, we're going to put it on okay there's your temperature 180 you do not need to preheat this okay so come oh there see 180 okay so now we're going to touch this oh shoot oh okay we'll put it on for 15 minutes Okay. I will keep checking it so that it doesn't overcook. But it's very quiet when it goes on. And these are all the different buttons, but they explain that in the info guide. And there's the tea file. So it's quite big. There you go. It, but it's quiet though. I will probably flip these uh, um, the fish uh, for another and then cook them for another 10 minutes. And here is my thermometer which I'm going to use. Just, just leave it be. Okay, I'm just gonna like that. So I'm just going to pull it out to check to see how the fish is doing on one side. We have uh, 12 minutes left. Okay. Ooh. Ah, 
I see. See, it looks like it's getting crispier. There, perfect. I'll just kind of straighten this out a bit. Okay, I'll move this down. Okay. There you go. All right, so we're going to put it back in. See, I did not need to grease the, uh, the basket or anything. There we go. And just starts up on its own. It's good it keeps track of the time. And you can recycle the uh, the packaging that the fish came in as well. I would rinse it out with water. Yeah. And the T-Fowl uh, air fryer is much better than the electric oven because it uses so much wattage and it takes so long to heat up to get to 375 degrees. This it doesn't take, you just can plug it in, turn it on and it's, it's ready to go. There's no preheating and there's no um, parchment paper, you don't need to use parchment paper either. But if you want to use the parchment paper, you have to make sure that you put the parchment paper down, then the fish on top of it, so it weighs the parchment paper down, so it doesn't fly up into the uh, part of the um, cooking coils. So I'm just going to keep checking the fish to see uh, how it's cooking, so it's not overcooking. Um, probably the same side that, or the same heat on each side, or the same time as well. Oh, it's starting to smell very good. So you don't need to wash the fish, you want to just keep the oil there on the fish. And it's great to add um, the breadcrumbs as well. Actually I'm going to show you the container that I use the breadcrumbs. Oh, that's the French side. Here we go. Oh, Romain, Romano cheese is in this too. Nice. This is Italian style. So I'm just going to leave that out so you can see it. And notice I don't have anything plastic around the air fryer as well. You don't want to cause a fire. And also you don't want to create the energy waves. Mm 
Let's take a look now. Ooh. It's getting there. Hmm. Uh, let's go. I'm going to be probably turning it over. I just want to see. Yeah, I think I might turn it over. Yes, I might turn it over. Oops. There you go. You have to pick it up all the way. Just try to slide it around. Oops. Just try your best. Okay, so we're going to try the other side now. You can even see the lines in the fish there, so you know it's not ready yet. Oops, it's got to be closed all the way in order for it to go. I'm just going to throw that in there. Starts by itself. I didn't even have to touch it. So I flipped it after five minutes, four or five minutes. No, well, actually, after eight minutes. I flipped it after eight minutes. And now, here, we're going to do it for another eight. Yes, this is hot. Just gonna maybe put that there. <laughs> so it's easy cleanup too. Just clean out the plates and the bowl. You've already used your spices. You can add more spices to it as well whatever you'd like. This way you don't have to cook it on the frying pan or on the stove. It's great. It's all air fried. It's healthier for you. So we now have seven minutes left. This is a great handle too for opening it up. And also the basket and the strainer is also very clean, uh, easy to clean too. Okay, we're at six minutes now. So if you have it on for 15, you can put it on for eight and eight, or even 16 minutes, eight and eight. And if it's still not cooked, you just put it on for an extra two or three minutes. But just remember that if you're going to do it for two minutes on one side, you have to do two minutes on the other side.
And this is the vegetable oil I used to so put it in the bowl. Okay, there you go. Three minutes left. Let's just see what it's doing. Ooh. It's getting there. Ooh. I like. I think we're going to let it go in the next three minutes because just to be on the safe side. Okay. Usually I test it by put, uh, cutting a, using a knife and fork just to open it up to see if it's completely cooked. Anyway, we're going to let it. There you go.